y'all welcome to vlogtober day 22 so as y'all can see i'm in chill mode so um i was thinking about like i wanted to do a sit down with y'all but i wanted to i'm trying to figure out like what i wanted to talk about it was a lot of different things that i wanted to talk about i'm still burning the um pumpkin soy latte candle from yesterday i haven't picked up on what scent what the scent is giving yet but we'll we'll see maybe it hasn't burned down enough so I was thinking about um, different videos that I could post today and like to have like a little sit down. And I came across a lot of videos of like women basically telling other women like this is what you should do so that you seem more attractive to men. This is what you do um, so that you don't look like you dress in cheap. This is what you do so that um, you don't seem unappealing or how to make you basically how to make yourself be more appealing than you already are because basically you jacked up and i'm trying to help y'all out i just really realized i'm like women really be beating down other women on things that they hold specific to themselves so it's like like people will say like okay well i don't like um i hate to see women with um bonnets i hate to see women with long nails women with uh, some women like i don't like i don't like short nails well you don't like short nails i don't like square cut nails well you don't like square cut nails i don't like almond shake nails so it's like it's always something women I ain't never hear a man talk about a fupa. I heard a woman talking about a fupa. So women talk about other women's body types, other women's dressing, the way we look, the way we um, accentuate ourselves um, between eyelashes and eyebrows and makeup and nails, how you wear your nails. Do you put too much stones on your nails or do you just do a regular French cut? It's like friendship. It's just like women are literally beating down other women about the way that they feel like other women should look the girls who are natural talk crap about the girls who wear wigs the girl who wear wigs talk about the girls that are natural and all the while the men are sitting in the back like we pretty much like it all women running themselves ragged to look more appealing because they feel like okay well this is going to be something that a guy might like now people can talk about what they want to talk about with a lot of these plastic surgeries but a lot of these women are not doing it for themselves there are some women that are doing it for themselves but a lot of them are not doing it for themselves the bbl really got popping um to me i really saw it come on the scene with like the strippers and stuff like that and so the other strippers was getting bbls because they were like we see that the strippers get more money they had done interviews i was like the strippers get my money who got the bigger butts so the strippers started getting the BBLs. For some reason, the women on the outside who was the strippers was like, well, we need to get BBLs too because we want our men to basically look at us like they look at the strippers. When it's like, it's a total different kind of look. It's a totally different type of look. And these strippers ain't, strippers ain't checking for them. And it be, it be that part. It be that part. These strippers at work. These ladies are at work. So I said, you know what? Let me do a video about this. Women are so hard on other women that it has women out here starving themselves getting bbls getting lip injections get hip injection injections wearing uncomfortable ass waist trainers um getting all kind of stuff tummy tucks and all of that stuff now now i ain't gonna lie i want a tummy tuck i had a, i had a boy and he <laughs> He, he, he stretched my little tongue time out and I don't like it. I don't like how looking clothes. If you're going to get plastic surgery, get it for yourself. Definitely don't get it so you can be like, yeah, I'm going to stun on these toes. No, stun for yourself. Put your clothes on and feel good about yourself. I'm just like, damn, women really be talking about other women, down at other women. And I feel like a lot of women's low self-esteem is coming from other women. I don't think it's coming from men. Men have literally, as many podcasts as all women talk about how they hate men have, men literally get on the podcast and was like, yeah, we ain't really, we ain't really a fan of the eyelashes, but mm, we ain't really a fan of the long nails. We don't really care about the long nails. We don't really care about the short nails. We, it's whatever. It's whatever. Now there's something that's like, I don't like women whose nails are too long. This might be too long for some men, but their nose ain't the man for me. And anybody who wears long nails and they meet a man he don't like long nails, then that's not the man for you. Now, if you choose to change your nails up for him, then do you. Hold on. <laughs> but I feel like as many men sit on these podcasts and they talk about how like, oh, yeah, you know, we don't really care about stretch marks. We don't care about back fat. We don't care about nothing. Men like, we don't really care if you, got a, if you got a fat ass. A fat ass is nice to look at, but if you ain't got it, you ain't got it. 
They ain't tripping and like, no, I'm not talking to Shorty because Shorty don't have a fat ass. Maybe these younger men are, but these more mature men, no, they're, they're not, they're not really tripping on stuff like that. So I just feel like women are really creating these unrealistic parameters that they're putting up that a lot of other women are trying to live up to. It's a bitch, no, you're never going to have a, a super duper tiny waist because that's not how your frame is built it's just not gonna happen you can have a smaller waist than you have right now but it, it's not gonna happen for you and that's okay because everybody has different body types now everybody want a big ass and my thing is back in the day black women were shamed for having big asses big hips big lips and all of that stuff and now it's like everybody wants that now that's like the thing to aspire to that that those are the features to aspire to have and so it's like black women who already got big asses going out and getting more ass it's like i'm not understanding that i could understand like if your ass is like super duper flat and then you're like i need something i don't understand the plight of somebody who got like a, a sheet of paper flat ass i don't understand the plight of them so i can't say just because you got a flat ass still don't mean you need to be but it's like it's for my self-esteem yeah i do I want to I wanna feel some type of way about myself when I put my clothes on. That's doing it for yourself. But doing it to be like, I want other guys. It's like, no. And everybody say, oh, I'm not doing it for this. I'm not doing this. Like, you do it so that you can get the approval. A lot of women are doing it so that they can get the approval of other women. And that shit is crazy. I'm like, it's the women. We talk about the men so much. We talk about all of the stuff that the men do. But it's the women. The women are putting down other women and making them feel even more insecure. And some people are like, well, you can't, can't nobody lower your self-esteem. If your self-esteem is already low and you see a motherfucker on TV talking about how your stretch marks and stuff is the reason why you can't get no man and you already got feelings about your stretch marks, yeah, you that can lower your self-esteem. That can, that can make you lower your own self-esteem. By hearing somebody basically saying this stuff, it's like, okay, I'm working on it, but I can't really make them go away. Or you got back fat. And it's like, don't wear that dress because you got bad fat, so you can't do it. And so I just feel like other women perpetuate the shit when men will sleep with a big girl, a small girl, a skinny girl, a tall girl, a short girl, girl with a big stomach, girl with a flat stomach, girl with bad fat. It, it don't, it, it, everybody, everybody, it's somebody for everybody. And I just feel like women are beating down other women. And being like, this is the reason why you don't have a man. And the men are like, that's not the reason why they don't have a man. We don't know why they don't have a man. But I'm telling you, that's not the reason why. Because men don't really care about stuff like that. And it's like, women will be like, yeah, y'all do care about stuff. Like, my thing is, if a man tells you that men don't care about back fat. And it's a whole panel of men that's like, yeah, we don't care about back fat. Who are you to go in and say, y'all lying, y'all do care about back fat. They just said they don't. And one thing about these men on these podcasts, they're going to they gonna say what they want to say. On the magnitude of YouTube videos, it is about women basically trying to show other women how to be better women. Like, bitch, this is how you be not, not gross all the time. This is how you look not gross all the time. It's the whole makeup, no makeup thing. Where women are like, women who don't wear makeup are like, I don't, I don't want to put all of that makeup on my face. I want them to see how I look. And then there's other women that's like, well, you just want to look plain. And that's why you don't want to wear makeup. And all of a sudden, I don't wear makeup. Do I not wear makeup because I want, I want men to be able to see me in my natural state? I want people to be able to see me in my natural state? No, not for me. I don't wear makeup because I don't know how to put it on. So women just, women just really need to, women just really need to stop putting their personal preferences and personal um physical attributes and ideals on other women it's like now nah, you don't like you don't like to see women outside with bonnets on so close your eyes when you see them but don't sit and say that this is the reason why you don't have no man because a, a lot of them women with bonnets on they they got a bonnet on because they got up that morning and made their man breakfast and they was a little tired so they ran to the store with their bonnet on you don't know Y'all know a lot of these women, a lot of these women have men. It, it, it be the ones that be dressed up looking nice who be single. 
because every man is looking for something different in a woman. So it's like, who are you to tell somebody like, you're going to look cheap if you wear this. You're going to look unappealing if you wear this. This is unattractive. This is unlady. Like, this is how you sit like a lady. This is how you eat like a lady. This is how you walk and talk like a lady. Learn how to walk in heels. Now, I do understand to learn how to walk in heels ones. But don't put people down because they can't wear six inch needle stilettos. It's like it's it's always something with women, and that, it's giving it's it's giving very much so weird, as if we don't have enough to deal with when it comes to our body images. Now we have other women that's beating us down because they're like, look at my body and look at your body. Yeah, and we both single. God.